What's up, boys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're just gonna pretty much start right where we left off. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> Damn it, Barry. I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use the flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, oh, thank God. All right? The world exploded. Ah, I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're going to have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. There's the farm. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Jeez. Oh, I need a flashlight. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I was, okay, I was just about to say that I, re I realized I'm going the wrong way. But there's manuscript here, so might as well grab it. Walter at the Anderson when he Farm. the car at the Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. The hell? Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Go. Fuck off. Oh, come on. Ow. Go, 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 go. Okay, shadows crawled over the gate. I Damn needed it. a light to destroy them to get through. over here I think another page uh Nightingale of Rest Wake Nightingale stared at the past outrider the man was sleeping off one hell of a night Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion but he had a job to do he put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer his hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry biting his teeth he tried again to pull the trigger he lost the nerve Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. That's freaking crazy. Okay. The guy almost killed me. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Okay. Here, let's go. I need a flashlight. Is that a flashlight? Oh, fuck I yeah. could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. So, Emil. So, uh, Henderson, or Hot Doll. Hey, what the hell's his name? Anderson? Hell, the fucking doctor. Oh, son of a... Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Well, I don't know what that power is, but... But... Too late now. Screw you guys. Okay, so freaking the stupid doctor. I, I can't think of his damn name all of a sudden. I don't know why. He was controlling Thomas Zane. He was reducing his his stuff. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. I wonder if that was that Walter guy. I mean, it said it wasn't. He was in a truck, didn't it? Look like a campsite. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the heavy duty flashlight. Take that. That. Okay. That's all I got. Get the hell out of here. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry. I would see the damage soon. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. 
It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Dark Presence at large. The Dark Presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Okay. And the trick is that we have to make the story make sense. So we can't just say, oh, well, the darkness gave up at you know it found solace you know we can't do that it wouldn't make sense which that makes it even harder for alan because he's making the manuscript but if the manuscript is already made then what's going on i don't even know anymore Patients escaped the launch. The storm launch. raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh, what the hell? So they, they do know of the darkness. It up. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. And are filled with darkness. Okay. Another freaking trap. It also doesn't help that, yeah, this thing, this. Freaking places littered with bear traps. Ah, oh, fucking darkness. Get the hell out of here. Okay, here's that Kevin. Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, we made it. We made it. Well, we made it to the cabin at least. Still haven't made it to the freaking farm yet. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Okay. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Well, it sounds like someone's probably dead. Um, I should probably go up there and uh, check it out, though. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. You poor bastard. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who who wrote this crap anyway oh you poor bastard oh man the sad part is that they're probably not going to notice it for a while. Possible course in my head. 
If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Alright boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.